Hey guys, welcome to day 152 of my carnivore journey. And I hope that you guys are having a good journey as well. Today, I'm going to tell you guys again what I ate, how I feel. <clears throat> if it's the first time you're joining me, hey, come on board and welcome to the family. All right. But yeah, I just give you, I just give you all a layman's perspective of the carnivore diet. You guys know me. Um, <clears throat> all right. Let's get right into it. So today, a uh, little bit of a, a deviation from the normal, um, but still within the carnivore lane, and that is chicken wings. That's right. So I made some chicken wings, uh, oven baked. They basically I took naked chicken wings. Of course, I prepped them, and I did salt. I did Redmond salt. I didn't even pepper them. Um, I just did Redmond salt and. I, I put them like on a, uh, like, you know, one of the bacon racks uh, with some tin foil underneath of it because I didn't feel like cleaning the pan. <laughs> uh, but I put the tin foil under the bacon rack. And then, um, but like, uh, just I put 14 wings on there. It was like half of a package, basically. And, and then, so I've got the other half for tomorrow. But, um, but in any case, I've got the, I had the 14 wings in there. I did salt on them. I salted them and uh, put them in the oven at 400 for 50 minutes and just let them cook. And then I know it seems like a lot, but I took them out and then I actually went ahead. I tossed them in the sauce. Like I, I got them all wet. I made my own homemade um, sauce. I took and melted about three tablespoons or like heaping spoonfuls of uh, ghee which is like clarified butter. Um, so I did, I melted some clarified butter, like on a low heat, like while the wings were cooking. I Okay, so let me back up just a quick second. While the wings were cooking. Now I didn't film this because I'm trying to, always per, trying to perfect things first. And then, so, um, but I did the 50 minutes. Anyways, while the wings were baking in the oven, well, you know, the vent, the heat coming up through one of the burners I just put three big tablespoons of ghee in like a little pan, a little saucepan. And I put that on that burner in the back that kind of like has a little more heat coming out of it. And um, I just kind of let that naturally almost kind of melt on its own. And then like toward the last like 10 minutes, I just put it like on a low, uh, a low heat. So I had this like perfectly melted clarified butter. And then I, and then I took uh, a bowl and I put a cup of hot sauce, like Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I put a teaspoon of like garlic and a teaspoon of like onion powder. And I mixed those up and then I poured the clarified butter in there and I just whisked, I whisked it up, not real heavy whisk, but just enough to combine everything nice and smooth. Made sure to work that butter in, it got everything nice and smooth. And when the wings came out of the oven, I, I didn't put the butter in until like the wings were done. But then after the 50 minutes, I pulled the wings out. I mixed up my my sauce. And then I got all the wings wet, put them back on the rack, put them back in the oven for about another 15 minutes, took them out. And then that's when you guys seen them in the picture. And then, of course, I had I served the a side of sauce, wing sauce with them to dip and add even more sauce. If I, wanted. I, ended, I ended up pouring more sauce over the wings and just sort of almost like retossing them in a way at, uh, when, uh, when I was halfway through, but they were excellent, saucy. Were they like crisp? Um, a little bit. I was trying to find a way because I did find somebody that put them in the oven with just salt and pepper and they put them in for 50 minutes and they seemed like they were really crunchy. So... But then again, they didn't toss them in sauce, so I don't know if that kind of softened them back up. Maybe. <clears throat> but next time I might put them back in the oven, I might toss them in the sauce like I did, put them back in the oven, and I may leave them in either a little longer or I may put it like on broil and just like, or, or a combination of. Maybe put them in for 15 minutes and then hit them up, finish them off with like, three or four minutes on broil or something. I don't know, but I'm going to try to work it out to the wing, where the wings are just slightly crispier. Um, Cause I, I don't mind, like I, I like crispy wings, but they don't have to be perfectly crispy. Those came out really good. They tasted amazing. Um, 
as far as lunch goes, I had a pepperoni stick. So it's made by the same people that make the pepperoni slices that I eat. Uh, but it's just a stick and a small one too. And I had a small cheese stick along with that. Uh, and two hard boiled eggs. So pretty good little lunch. I'm pretty happy about that. And then wings. And I had a couple butter bites. That's right. I forgot to tell you guys. I made butter bites. I didn't pour them into molds though. Like last time I had like the molds. I'm gonna have to get me some new molds. But this time I just poured them on a parchment paper. Like once I, you know, made the the browned butter and everything. I poured it on a parchment paper like in the pan. And just let it and put it in the fridge. And I let it... And then I just broke it up like peanut brittle when it was done, so to speak. And I have it like on a plate with some foil and you know, like in a Tupperware. So yeah, I just eat it like like bark or something. You know what I mean? Like, but I mean it's soft, you know. But you know what I mean. Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. Okay, so other than that, guys, if you want to tune out, I understand. For the rest of you, um, if you haven't heard, I have a website, allcarnivoreinfo.com. Now listen, some of you might want to hear this, um, but I've been adding stuff every day. I've got recipes up there now. If you need recipe ideas, where again, I need your guys' help. I, I did get some people that's been sending me some links, but I'm not really getting a lot. I'm not getting a lot of submissions. So guys, please go there and look over the website and any videos or channels or communities, anything that you think that, you know, goes on the website, hit me up with the link. That's all you got to do is send me the link and I'll take care of the rest. Um, as far as everything else goes, um, but but yeah oh and i got a new t-shirt for the website allcarnivoreinfo.com there's a t-shirt if you go to the donation section um if you if you purchase the t-shirt um that's also the any any profits that go from the t-shirts will go to the website as well just like a donation uh, but the great thing is you're gonna have an, a, a nice shirt that you can wear out and about it's going to support the carnivore community it's not something over the top like it, it it's it's you know anybody can wear it it's not you know there's no no crude jokes or anything but anybody can wear it but it's going to help spread the word and help with advertising as well so you're really going to be supporting the community if you do purchase or donate um any of that stuff really is going to help out with the community other than that i think that's about it guys just i really appreciate you all and I will see you tomorrow in day 153. Bye.